Hey everyone, so this is just an answer to a very common question that I get for people who are new at a high level and wondering what the best ways are to actually implement it. And the question that comes up is, what if I already have an existing website? What if my customer already has an existing website on like WordPress or Wix or something external and they don't want a new website built on high level, but they still want the automations, they still want the CRM and all of the features. So what are the different ways that we can kind of integrate those together? And what are your options here? So there are actually four main ways, not three, that you can link high level to existing websites. I'm going to show you each one of those. And this is going to allow you to target customers that maybe potentially were out of your reach. And now you can uh, you can offer them a solution regardless of you know what, what they need. So starting off, one way that you can integrate high level with uh, existing websites is through forms or surveys. So if we jump over here to the high level form builder, so whenever you build out a form inside high level, this is what it looks like. You have your different fields and stuff. Now, typically these forms would get embedded on high level websites. But if you look at the top right hand corner, it says integrate over here. And you basically have the option to integrate this form onto any other website that you want. So you can decide what the format is going to be. So whether it's a pop up, if it's in line, if it's on the side, and then you can change any settings you want here. But what you're really looking for is this copy embed code. So if you click on that and then if I just do like a paste, you can see that all of this code is here. So you can give this to your clients, developer, or if they made the website themselves, you can just give them this snippet of code and they can stick it into wherever they want this form to show up and they can replace their existing form. So now what happens is this form, so I'll show you an example on one of my customers' websites. So this is actually a WordPress website, but this is a high level form. So I created this on high level. I integrated it with their website, give them the code. So now whenever anyone fills out this form, what happens is that information gets sent directly to the CRM and then automations can occur on that leads information. So SMSs, emails, you know, anything like that can take place while working on this WordPress website. So next way that you can integrate high level is through a calendar. So in a similar fashion, whenever you create a calendar, so similar to like a Calendly where you have like a booking link and stuff, what you can do is you can actually click these three dots inside the calendar section. And if you go to share, one option you have is you can share it by a link. So if I just search that link, you can see that it takes you to like a booking portal and you can fill it out and do all of that stuff here. But the other cool thing is that you can also embed code again. So you can get the snippet of code and then give it to anyone's existing website. And then whenever someone books an appointment on like your client's WordPress website, that appointment's automatically going to come into high level. And then again, you can manage the contact, you can do automations on that. So that's a good way to connect the two of them. So forms and service is one way. The other way is with calendars. Now, the third way is with the chat widget. So this is a feature that not a lot of people know about. But if you go to the site section and you go to chat widget, you have an option to create this chat widget that sits on websites where users can interact with it, ask questions like you've seen on my website as well. So you can configure it however you'd like. You can decide if it's like an SMS based chat widget or if you want to do an actual live chat if your client is available, which is uh, which is really cool. You can customize the window and all of that. But once the chat widget is ready, it can either go inside your current high level website or if you want to put it on an external uh, website, then you can use the get code in the top right hand corner, copy this piece of code and again, give it to your client and then they just add it to their website. Super easy. So I don't know if you noticed the first time, but back on my client's website here in the bottom right hand corner, this is actually a high level chat widget that I created. And so any responses here go back to our CRM and interact just as they would if it was on a high level website. So these are really the most important parts about making a website functional anyway. The design aspect, sure, WordPress might be better than high level, but functionality wise, forms, chat widgets, surveys, calendars, that's really what makes the website functional. And then just a little brief on like the automations themselves. So when you have a trigger for like the booking appointments, for example, you would just do in calendar. Um, so you would add a filter to the, the trigger of customer booked appointment, and then just choose the calendar that matches the one that was in the code that you gave to your client. So as long as it matches up, then anyone that submits that booking on your client's website will enter into this workflow, just as if it was on a high level website. So that's how you can connect the two. High level doesn't differentiate which website the calendar was on, just that, you know, whether it was code or if it was on high level, as long as it was the calendar, then it's going to come through your automation, which is great. The same logic applies for form. So you can do form submitted, add filter, form is, 
And then just make sure you choose the form that you gave to the client that you made for them and you gave to them in code. And then whenever that form gets submitted on their website, it's going to automatically enter your automation in high level and treat it like it was always in high level, which is really cool. So that was the three, uh, three high level ways that you can connect an existing website to high level. Now, the last way is just using an external bridging software like Zapier or Make. So just jumping into Zapier, like for example, say your client doesn't want to update the form that they have on their website and they're using like Typeform, for example, or something, then you can connect Typeform and then you can just do whenever there's a new entry, this or that, just put all of these details. I'm just using a random account that I have. And then the action that you can do. So inside Zapier, high level is actually called lead connector. So if I choose lead connector, then I can do, um, I can do create contact, choose an account. So I'm just gonna choose uh, Hexona systems, continue. And then here's where you can map all the details. So you can do uh, first name, uh, this one and then you know phone number so yeah you just map all these variables so whenever a lead submits a form on your customer's website on their like non-high level website it's automatically going to send the contact details that you set up over here to high level and they're automatically going to show up in our high level crm just like they were a high level contact so zapier is just going to send that information over so those were the four main ways that you can connect uh, high level to an existing website and then start running all of your automations on those contacts. So there's no need to move clients over to high level websites. It's not, it's not the biggest deal. Sometimes they like their websites and they simply just want the automations. And then that's what we can do using these four methods. All right, take care.